Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so this is going to be a uh, Leo Sun, Leo Moon, and as well Leo Rising weekly tarot reading, July 29th to August uh, 4th, 2019. I hope um, you guys enjoying those readings. It's just, uh, you know, it's a bit kind of like difficult to focus these days. I don't know why it's something in my mind. Uh, but anyway, so bear with me a, a second to uh, shuffle the tarot cards and uh, we're going to jump straight away in. All right, so uh, the first card, which stands for the topic of your week, uh, we do have the Eight of Wands, followed by the second card here, Leo, which represents the challenges that you need to overcome. Uh, that is going to be the uh, King of Swords. Third card here, it is the positive aspect of the week. That is going to be the Six of Cups. And the last card, which we do have, it is going to be the guidance the Tarot is offering to you. We do have the uh, King of Pentacles. So uh, for what it seems, Leo, uh, that week is going to be a bit aggravating or irritating, or I don't know how to say it, because it it's looks like that I don't want to say that you're going to be denied, all right, or there are going to be a lot of denial, but I will say it that way. Uh, and I will give you an example. Let's say that your boss gives you a task, all right? And they will want you to report them with everything that comes up with it, okay? So going along with the task, you find a problem there, all right? So you, because this is what tasks is all about, you know, solving problems. So you find a problem and you s propose a, a solution. Your boss says, no. You propose another one, no, says your boss. You propose the third one, no, I, I want it better. You propose the fourth one, no, 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 no. I, I told you I don't want it that way, I want it better. And that will be the aggravation here because, you know, no matter how what, what you propose, you know, or what thrumps you, you, you pull out of your sleeves, this person here, the king of swords, it's, it's not that they're not going to be pleased, but they are not going to find it efficient. So instead of tormenting yourself that you can't be as good seemingly you know as you want to be in the eyes of this person who is assessing you assessing you all right or gives your assess uh, gives his assessment for you it will be best to turn on more exhilarating enterprises all right it's like you know having a good dinner with friends going into cinema enjoying playing video games and these kind of stuff you just don't take it too personal that's the point here so uh, let's uh, let's run down the cards one more time and then we're going to scrutinize the reading here we do have the eight of wands which is the general topic followed by the king of swords which stands as a challenge in man that is quite of a challenge to overcome here Afterwards is the Six of Cups, which is the positive aspect. And finally, we do have the King of Pentacles, which is the guidance. All right. So 
Eight of Wands. Uh, it, it does point, first of all, of a uh, <clears throat> excuse me, very, very dynamic week. Week with a lot of um, openings, okay? A lot of around turns. Openings which comes around and they, if not seized, goes by and, and, and flies along with the flow. So they just gone, okay? The thing, however, with these opportunities, it is that one needs to be extremely careful with them because there there are a lot that can go wrong okay and that is the thing that you will not be able to see throughout the week while this one here is seeing but for one or another reason they're not divulging it to you and that's this is where the irritation and um the aggravation comes from so um, that being said, uh, with the Eight of Wands, it is best, you know, if you, like I said, if you don't take it very, very personal, right? It's just you try to seize the opportunity here or the window of, of opportunity. And if it isn't happening, uh, you don't have a green light, you don't have an approval, or it's just you're faced with skepticism or lack of appreciation, leave it be, you know, and just move on. Because, like I said, Eight of Wands is a very unstable card. It is high risk, high reward kind of thing. And uh, with the King of uh, Swords here on a second position, uh, that, that person doesn't like to, to gamble, all right? They, they're not that kind of a type. They, they, what they want, it's, um, it's a reasonable explanation, okay? Just reasonable explanation. Uh, and also a... a very well found strategy what happens next and unfortunately you won't be able to give them that strategy that's why they're gonna say no nope, no nope, it's it's not happening that way uh the accompanied card of the um eight of wands is going to be the eight of cups and if we're talking about career we're definitely talking about money so what you're proposing into your career as a solution to the problems into your project involves money or involves funding or in any way involves resources which this person is either unwilling or, or doesn't have to share right or doesn't have to spend they they just don't have them okay and no matter how much you uh try to to convince them even if they so much want to do it they will be unable to but the thing with these two cards is that we have a hint that things aren't going to be that way forever Therefore, you may want to keep your ideas uh, in reserve so you can share them when the company, for example, is facing better days. Same goes for your career, for your relationship. You know, you are in relationship. You want to go and experience a great thing, so rather like exhilarating things, but your partner is saying, nope, I don't want to, you know, nope, no, nope, it's, it's, it's not my thing. No, it's it's just not my, it's just something that I despise and these kind of stuff, you know. And so, oh my God, that person is so boring, you know. But uh, they do have their reasons. But like I said, they're not divulging them. Maybe because they're ashamed, maybe because they're afraid as well. It, you don't know that. But this is going to change. Not in this week, all right. It may change in a couple of months. It may change in an year, right. But your ideas ultimately are going to be appreciated uh the next card which is the challenge and i pretty much already covered it um king of swords so it's a person who likes authority all right it's a person who uh, likes people to follow their lead uh, in the sense of the to appreciate their uh the way that they think. Now, you need to know that King of Swords does not care how you feel. They do care only about how the machine works, okay? So if, for example, if that's your boss, even if what you are proposing is brilliant, right? If it's gonna cost to the business, it's not good. It's just, it's, it, it does no chance that thing is gonna pass. Or if this is your boyfriend, for example, and you propose something as a uh, enterprise into your relationship. If the old boyfriend thinks that this is going to harm the relationship, it's no good. Uh, they will not going to be agree, uh, uh, agreed to, all right? Regardless of how you feel. The accompanied card here, it is the Ace of Swords. And that is very strong combination. That is a, a person who thinks 
10 steps ahead, 100 steps ahead, okay? They do have a, a very clear vision of, of what the situation really is and what is going to happen. They do calculate it, all the possibilities as soon as you have uh, shared your ideas with them or your resolution or anything like that. Now, the point why they are not divulging why they are, um, they are denying you it is because it's going to be way too complicated, okay? And the, the whole thing is going to fall into a magic circle of explanations, which means wasting time, okay? And I'm not saying that they are uh, more clever than you are. It's just they do have a different kind of point, which is deprived from emotions. And you may have your uh, ideas or your suggestions which are supported by certain emotions. And that's why you won't be able to understand where they're coming from for due time. But in future, that will uh, most definitely going to uh, happen. What I mean is that uh, you together are going to understand each other. So uh, that leads us to the next card, which represents the positive aspect of the week. And we do have the Six of Cups. So not much of a time is what you're going to spend on this, uh, on this person here, King of Swords. Oh my God, my nose is so itchy. Does anybody know what itching nose means? Oh my. Anyway, so uh, six, not, many time, not much time you're going to spend on this person. Probably most of you are going to just give up in two days. Okay, it's just you get denied of everything. So, wow. And what happens afterwards? Well, positive aspect is that you're going to have a lot of a, uh, activities that you can contribute into, which are going to be simultaneously emotionally and physically exhilarating. And now if this card falls for a relationship and you are single, all right, the card may signify that uh, you are to meet someone that you're going to have physical and emotional attraction simultaneously, which is great, isn't it? But uh, the point here with the six of... Um, the Six of Cups is that you are going to enjoy the peripheral activities. You're going to enjoy everything else but the um, the process of convincing the King of Swords, that person, into what you're proposing is something good and it's something beneficial, all right? Well, maybe in your eyes, but not exactly in the grand scheme of things that the problem, uh, that's the real problem for the uh, King of Swords, because take it that way, the King of Swords prefers to be um, successful in the long run rather than at the moment, okay? The King of Swords prefers to have stable relationship in the long run rather than to feel happy for the moment in this process of happiness to raise up a issues in between you two. The accompanied card here is going to be the Eight of Pentacles. So Six of Cups and Eight of Pentacles are a passive friend. And, uh, well, it's, it, <laughs> it kind of speaks for an, an appreciation in this case. It is like you are going to um, appreciate more and more these peripheral and side activities which are making you feel happy with the determination to do them more often, more frequent. In other words, you are going to regain back the taste of life, okay? So let's say that up until this moment, you worked your ass off, all right? You just worked and worked and worked for a hope that you're going to get promoted and this kind of stuff, and suddenly you face a wall in your career. So what happens now is that you start spending more time with your friends, enjoying yourself on a good meal at the evening, spending time going on a cinema, like I said, and these kind of stuff. And you find out that actually this recharge, recharges you with a good energy, all right? And therefore, you are to say to yourself, oh my God, why I haven't done this before, right? Why, why I was wasting literally my time making someone else richer or making someone else happier, okay? While, while I can be happy and rich emotionally, that is, um, in the same time. And one more thing I want to say about these couple of cards here, Leo, is that they could signify that a um, <clears throat> some sort of a... Um, it's not even an idea, but let's say yearning of, of, of yours could finally start taking place. And under a yearning, I mean that let's say you wanted to buy yourself a, a new car. Well, that could be now become an option available. You may want to, 
I don't know. It's, it's something that will give you more pleasure than benefits, all right? You might want to go on a vacation and now that could start becoming possible and this kind of stuff. It is not like a big dream and big wish, live happily ever after or marrying and, and, or, or starting a dream job of yours, but it is just this um, um, perk which is going to become available for you that will make your life the very least much much more easier and the uh, final card that we do have it is the king of pentacles and uh, this is uh, the guidance so strongly related to the attempt of convincing the king of swords to become to your page the king of pentacles here points it is that you have to do a couple of things first you need to convince the crowd Stop trying to convince the king, all right? Convince the crowd that what you are trying to propose or what your idea is, it is the right way of moving forward. Once the crowd is at your side, the king will have no choice but to accept your vision. And the other thing here with the uh, king of pentacles, it is that you also need to offer something. Uh, if you want the King of Swords to take your position, all right, or to stand behind you, you have to basically, well, uh, the way I see it here is that you need to um, give them um, assurances what they are to win in, in case that they go along with your path, either career or relationship wise. The accompanied card here is going to be the King of Wands formation. It is a, a passive uh, neutrals. So the King of Pentacles and the King of Wands, they don't cooperate very well together. The thing is that one is a hard worker. The other one, it's more like a, a bossing around. Uh, but it's, what these two cards here are saying, at least to me, that is, is that you can a little bit over-exaggerate, okay? You can a little bit let's say, twist kind of uh, circumstances, truths, if you want to say. No, don't don't twist the truths. The King of Swords is going to know. But uh, twist circumstances and play a little bit unfair, if you, if, you, if, you know what I, if you know what I mean here, right? For the sake of um, maintaining the positive attitude. It's, it's all that it takes here with these couple of cards. Maintaining the positive attitude of the King of Swords, which is the person that you need to overcome through convincing them that your way, it is the only way, okay? So that being said, Leo, this was your weekly tarot reading, uh, July 29th to uh, August 4th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.